Greetings, in this video I'm going to show you how to test a car battery with a digital multimeter and this one is called Conwy. I got this off of Amazon and it averages around 20 or 30 bucks. I'll put a link in the comment section where you can get one, a Conwy. The reason I got this one is just because it had so many good reviews and it's not too expensive. You could test it inside the vehicle, which right now it's connected to the terminals, or you can use it outside of the battery. So of course we're going to plug it up positive to positive, which positive of course is red and negative is black. And alright, go ahead and connect it. Then it automatically turned on here. Alright, so the only thing you have to do is click check, so I'm going to hit enter. It's in the vehicle. If I were to go to out of vehicle, of course I would go down. But it's in the vehicle. All right, so let's go ahead and click enter. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put regular flooded. And then you wanna do CCA, that's cold cranking amps. It, right now it's set at 400. Uh, you could find the cold cranking amps on your battery. It'll either be on the side or preferably, I hope it'll, it's on the top. It says cold cranking amps is 585 then you're going to find the majority of batteries are between 500 and 700 if it's not listed on the front of your battery you can google it to say what the cold cranking amps is uh, for a particular battery hold that down and click enter now it's testing and uh, so what's it say about 12 volts which that's DC and it shows that the battery is good, but needs to be recharged because I basically have been having it sit. Um, if it's bad, of course, it'll say bad, needs to be replaced. When I turn the car on, which I'll go ahead and do now, it should, it should go up to 13.5 volts to 14.5 volts. I'm going to go ahead and click enter. Let's do charge test. Okay, so it says increase RPMs to 2,500, and so I'm going to go in the car and rev up, and that basically will test the battery, but it also will test the alternator. So let's go ahead and rev it up. Go ahead and click enter. I'm going to rev it up now. All right, so for RPMs, I want to increase this to about 2,500 for 10 seconds. Okay, while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights. So I'm going to turn on these lights up here, maybe turn on the radio, air conditioner. And you want to do that for at least, at 2500, you want to do that for at least 10 seconds. Let's get, see what the meter says. Alright, so it says charging normal. 14.26 volts loaded and unloaded so that basically means that um, that's normal so you want your while the vehicles on you want your volts to to stay with the lights on at 14.2 13.5 is fine as well but again if it goes over like to 16 or 17 volts that means your alternator is defective and if it stays at 12.5 uh, with the engine on, and especially with your lights on, that means that your uh, alternator is bad. All right, thanks for.